Let's consider one more question related to conditionals and loops. So let's get started. What is the output of the following C program fragment? This is the C program fragment. As you can see, I have declared one variable here, an integer variable of unsigned type. And I have assigned it a value 500. We need to assume that size of unsigned int is 4 bytes. Please note down, size of unsigned int is already given, that is 4 bytes. So we need to assume that before solving this question. Now what would be the output of this particular program? Is it A, infinite loop? Is it B, 0? Is it C, 1? Or is it D, compiler error? Again, please pause the video for a while and try to answer this question on your own. And please don't take help of any compiler. Done? Okay. As you can see, I have declared one variable i and I have assigned it a value 500. Now this variable is of integer type and modifier of this variable is unsigned. We already know that if we have an integer that two unsigned integer, then we know its range if it is of 4 bytes. That is from 0 to 4 to 94 96 7 to 9 5. This is the maximum value and this is the minimum value of an unsigned integer which is of 4 bytes. Now why I am giving this range over here? This is what we need to understand in this whole program. Here you can see because the variable is of unsigned integer type and I have assigned it a value 500. After this we encountered one while loop and inside this while loop we are checking this condition. Is i++ not equals to 0 or not? i++ means post incrementing the value of i, right? That means value of i is placed first and then after that increment is done. As value of i is 500 and 500 is not equals to 0, therefore this condition is satisfied. But what is done after that? You might think the printf function will get evaluated, but let me tell you my dear friends, this will not get evaluated as this printf function is not part of this while loop. Why? Because immediately after this while loop, there is a semicolon. There is one semicolon. If you encounter a semicolon immediately after a while loop, this simply means that there is no body of this while loop. While loop finishes at this point. That is what we need to understand. As condition itself is satisfied and there is no body of the loop, therefore we again check the condition. Right? One mistake that we usually make is that we think of this printf function as part of this while loop. But please remember, this printf function is not part of this while loop because of this semicolon encountered immediately after while loop. This semicolon indicates that while loop ends at this point. Now after checking the condition is 500 is equals to 0 or not, as the condition is satisfied, we come to this point that is semicolon. As there is no body of this while loop, we come back again to this point and check the condition once again. Now as we know, after evaluating the condition, 500 becomes 501. Now we check is 501 equals to 0 or not. 501 again is not equals to 0, hence the condition is satisfied and we again check the condition. Now we check is 502 is equals to 0 or not and it continues to go like that. Now when i reaches to its maximum value that is 4294967295 then it again checks the condition is 4294967295 equals to 0 or not as it is not equals to 0 therefore condition is again satisfied we come back again to this point but this time the value of i now becomes 0 and we already know this point whenever we try to exceed the range we come back again to the initial point that is 0 when i reaches 4294967295, then because of i++, it comes back again to 0, right? Now we will check 0 is equals to 0 or not. As 0 not equals to 0 is false, 0 is equals to 0. Therefore, condition fails, right? And we simply come out of this loop. That is what is written over here. As 0 not equals to 0 is false, therefore we come outside of the while loop. As we come outside of this while loop, we encountered printf function and we will simply print the value of i that is 0. If you think like that way, then you are wrong. 0 is not printed on the screen. 1 will get printed on the screen. What is the reason behind that? 
After we come out of the loop, I will contain one because of post increment operator. There is huge chances that you may forget this post increment operator. After we check this condition successfully, we come outside of this loop. But because of post increment operator, value of i now becomes one, and due to this reason, the value printed on the screen is one and not zero. Therefore, the final output is one and not zero.